Hi everyone. In this session, we will be dealing with the topic Macaulay's Minute upon Indian Education. So, before knowing what Macaulay's Minute upon Indian Education is, we have to know what was this Charter Act of 1813. Charter Act of 1813 was also known as the East India Company Act and it was this through this act that the British Crown allotted 1 lakh rupees for the education of the Indians and it also permitted Christian missionaries to propagate English and preach their religion. So, uh, when 1 lakh rupees was allotted to the uh, funding or allotted to the education of the Indians, there was actually a confusion about where this money has to be spent upon. Okay, and there were many doubts regarding the funding of the Indian literature, funding of this uh, Indian literature by the British government. And therefore, in order to settle all these doubts and all these uh, questions that were raised by the people, Macaulay, that is Thomas Babington Macaulay, he produced a very famous memorandum which is titled as Macaulay's Minute Upon Indian Education in 1835 in order to settle the issue. And now speaking about Macaulay's Minute Upon Indian Education, the first thing that he argued in his minute was to withdraw the funding allotted to the publication of the books in the Oriental language. That is, according to him, he argued that the support for the publication of books in Sanskrit and Arabic should be withdrawn. And the second thing that he argued was to withdraw the funding for the traditional education in the universities. And when these uh, funding of the traditional education are withdrawn, this cash or this fund should be uh, propagated or should be changed or should be given to teach them the English literature or to teach them the Western science and literature. So he wanted to fund education in Western subject as he wanted English as the language of instruction. He wanted the people of India to have a taste in English and in English literature. Okay, He wanted to teach them English science, the Western science and all and that too as English as a medium because he wanted to learn them English. And he, because as per him, English was the best worth knowing. He compared English with the Oriental languages and for him, the Oriental languages was too inferior and the quality of the European language or the Western science was immeasurable according to him. And therefore, he wanted to create a class of persons. Indian in blood and color, but English in taste, in opinions, in morals and intellect. Because there was actually a problem uh, regarding the uh, regarding teaching English to a mass population. But he uh, put forward an idea about teaching the English to a particular group of people who would act as a mediators, who would act as mediators for the English people and the native people. And that is what he said. He wanted the people who are Indians in blood and color, but English in taste, opinions, morals, and even in intellect. So this was the these were the major arguments that Macaulay put forward in his minute. And the then Governor General, that was Lord William Bentick, he was in complete approval of Macaulay and that is how the English Education Act of 1835 was published. Okay, and as per this act, as per the English Education Act of 1835, the major measures that you could find in these acts was that the great object of the British government ought to be the promotion of European literature and science among the natives of India and all the existing professors and students they will continue to uh, receive their stipends but it will no longer be to the uh, any further admissions and the portion no portion of the fund would be given to the publication of the oriental works and all these funds would be allotted to the development of the language of English in India for its teaching and for its development. So, these are the major points that you have to remember regarding Macaulay's Minute of 1835 or the English Education Act of 1835. And there was a question in uh, this was asked in June 2020. Macaulay's Minute of 1835, so too, and you have got uh, four options promote European literature and science among the natives, impart knowledge of English education and science through translated text, 
encourage branches of native learning by more useful studies and stop expenditure on the publication of oriental works and spend funds only on english education so with what we have discussed so far we knew that macaulay's minute the main objectives was to withdraw the funds given to the publication of the oriental works and also to promote european literature and science among the natives so the answer is option 1 that is a and d only so these are the things that you have to remember about macaulay's minute of 1835 and that's for this video thank you